Welcome back, YouTube. Today is actually gonna be kind of a different type of video because I wanted to start off with the question of, uh, what did you guys wish you knew when you started playing Genshin Impact? I know plenty and plenty of people have perhaps done videos like this for other games, maybe even Genshin Impact, but that's the question I wanted to ask you today. You know, maybe before this video starts, head down to the comments, subscribe on your way down there, by the way, uh, and let me know what you guys wish you knew when you started Genshin Impact. I feel like this is something that a lot of people look back on, right? They're like, oh my god, wait, I never knew about this? This would have made my life so much easier. And so I thought this would be a great opportunity for us to go through what I personally wish I knew when I started playing Genshin Impact. It has been almost exactly a year since I started playing Genshin Impact. And in that time, I have accumulated, you know, great amounts of knowledge and power and gotten seven copies of Chi Chi and, you know, stuff like that. But I thought this would be a fun little way for us to reflect on our time playing this game, <laughs> as well as maybe Maybe, you know, cover some things that you may not have known when you started playing Genshin Impact. If you're a new player, if you're an old player as well, uh, perhaps look back on the times. And let's reminisce for a bit uh, about our favorite game, Genshin Impact. These are some of the things I wish I knew when I started playing Genshin Impact. So I thought we should just start off this list nice and easy. Uh, so number one, what is the first thing that I wish I knew when I started playing Genshin Impact? If I'm being honest here, it probably has to be... Um, I wish I knew where the uninstall button was. <laughs> uh, number one on my list, I would probably have to say teleport waypoints. Yep, that's right. I feel like this is something that everyone takes for granted now because you've been using them for so long, but think about it. Teleport waypoints. You can literally get to anywhere on the map anytime you want. Now, of course, if you paid attention to the, uh, what do you call it? tutorial of the game it tells you how to uh use teleport waypoints and stuff but being the uh let's just say being the gamer that i was perhaps perhaps i didn't pay that much attention during the uh <laughs> during the whole tutorial phase and let me tell you for like i don't want to say week but probably the first yeah probably like the first week that i was playing genshin impact i did not know what teleport waypoints were or what they did keep in mind you have to like you have to unlock them for the first time right because you can't you can't just go over to a teleport waypoint until you've like walked over there so for the first week while i was playing genshin i literally walked everywhere i didn't bother unlocking those teleport waypoints i just walked straight up okay i know you guys might be laughing now you guys might be laughing but trust me i'm sure people can relate to this like you don't want to go out of your way to like you know hop over this teleport waypoint you tell yourself D i'll do it later i'll i'll get this teleport waypoint in a second and then you forget and then you walk away. And then the next time you wanna go back there, it, you can't, it's an honest mistake that happens. I feel like on the subject of uh, teleport waypoints, the Oculuses. If you don't know what an Oculus is, uh, you probably don't play Genshin, but uh, basically they are these little, uh, what are Oculuses? What What are Oculuses? We'll call them uh, little flo floating, uh, floating orbs. Yeah, we'll call them floating orbs that are just scattered around the map and you have to go collect them. Now I'm sure you know what an Oculus is, but there have been several, several times where I have literally just <laughs> seen like an Oculus appear on my screen and it just been like, ah, I'll, I'll get it later, you know? Like, maybe I'm doing a daily commission. I don't want to go out of my way to go collect them. And I just leave. And then you know what happens when you do that? Is you end up with statues of sevens at level nine and not have max stamina. And have like 50 oculuses around the map that you don't know where they are. And then it's just an unpleasant time. And then you have to spend like four hours straight just searching for anim oculuses and g oculuses. And you spend the whole day just doing that. And it's just completely unproductive when it could have been avoided in the first place. Yeah. That's, that's me. By the way, pro tip for uh, those lower AR players watching. If you want to know where the specific Animoculuses and Geoculuses are, in case you uh, haven't gotten them all, craft this thing right here. Not gonna lie, did not know about this until like a few months ago, but craft your resonance stones, okay? All you have to do is just press Z and then it'll show you. Okay, well, I don't, I don't have any left, but it, it'll, it'll, it'll show you uh, where, <laughs> where your oculuses are located on the map. I would suggest just getting them out of the way instead of waiting until your AR-57 to do them, because uh, things like that 
can get a little bit annoying. Speaking of uh, annoying, something else I wish I knew when I started this game. Oh man, the banners. Probably the center stone of Genshin Impact and the core mechanic to gameplay, character banners. Why don't you guys take a wild guess? What could I possibly be regretting here that I wish I knew when I first started this game? Pulling on standard with promos, you are. Correct. If we take a look at this standard wish banner here, I'm not gonna lie. This banner is very, very deceiving. This is a very deceiving banner. You wanna know why? Because look, what characters are on are featured here. You have Mona. Oh, uh, and Kaching, as well as like the Skyward Spine set and stuff like that. But they feature like these characters front and center, yet in actuality, the probability of getting one of these characters is one in like 16, right? It's one in 16 if you're pulling on this banner. Now, it might be fine if you don't have any of these characters, which is why I wouldn't say it's like a bad move to pull on the standard banner, especially since you can get like, you know, weapons, five-star weapons. But as an innocent free to play starting this game and not knowing what character banners were or the weapon banner. This is the spot where I dumped every single promo gem into for like the first two months while I was playing this game, the standard banner. And you wanna know why I dumped every single promo gem into this banner here? It's because of this one character. I saw Kaching on the front page of the standard banner and I was like, whoa, I want one of these characters. So I just kept pulling and pulling and pulling. And all of a sudden one day the wish turned gold. It wasn't a three star, it wasn't a purple. It was a five star. My very first five star it was a weapon because I pulled the Skyward Harp. Yeah, that was my very first five star from the standard banner and five star ever. It was it was the Skyward Harp, a freaking five star bow. Not even a character I could play, just 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 a weapon. And you know how betrayed I felt when after that gold wish came down, it was the Skyward Harp. <laughs> The worst part is the only character I had that could use it was freaking Amber. I got child soon afterwards, early pity. Maybe uh, maybe this was their way of saying, uh, we apologize. Here, take a free character and then spend like the next 12 months of your life just mindlessly addicted to this game. Maybe maybe that's their way of saying sorry. Uh, I don't know, we'll, we may never know. So my tip to you is one, look at the character banner, see if you want that character. Two, if you really don't, still don't pull on the, don't pull on the standard banner. It's just, it's just a trap. You really get nothing from it. You might end up with like, I don't know, a wolf's gravestone and have no character that can use it. It's not the finest of things to be experiencing, but yeah, you guys do you. On the same note, guys, there's no such thing as building pity. <laughs> I know it's a meme that runs around the community a lot, you know. Uh, I'll just I'll just throw like a poll in here because you know it, it'll just build pity. It, it doesn't happen, okay? You're gonna if you're actually saving for like a character you want, you are going to be screwed. Like, look, I have five free wishes here. I'm saving for Ayato, right? I'm I'm like ten pity. There's no way I get a five star here, right, guys? Right, guys? There's there's no way I'm getting a five star. But don't do it. Don't do it. Trust me. Trust me. Don't do it. <laughs> Oh my God. Additionally, I wish I knew what the Stardust Exchange was earlier. These are 10 free pulls every single month you can get just by buying them from the shop. Imagine, I didn't I didn't start purchasing those until who knows, a couple months in. That's like at least 30 pulls right there that I could have had that I just, I just missed out on because I, I didn't know what they were. Uh, wow, looking back on it, I was such a noob at this game. Next up on the list of things that I wish I knew, resin. Oh my god. Resin, resin, resin. Resin is like second to like Primo Gems. It is like the core mechanic of this game. It's how you, you know, get things to uh, upgrade your characters with. It's how you get artifacts, how you increase your damage, get materials. Everything costs resin. You know, I'm surprised Mahoyo hasn't like, sorry, Hoyoverse hasn't like, you know, made it so you need resin to like play this game, like game tokens or something. Maybe we should be thankful. Uh, anyways, all I knew was that I was fighting this big freaking flower and I killed it. And this like, this uh, freaking plant grew up from the sky. 
sky or not the sky what the grew up from the ground and i was like oh what is this and i clicked f on it and it showed me would you like to redeem these rewards and what were these rewards used to redeem it was this stuff resin it was resin and you know being the f2p that i was and the complete novice didn't i didn't know what resin was so i was like wait does this stuff cost money oh my god if this if this costs money i don't maybe i should save it what if like i'm gonna need it in the future so i never used my resin until i started streaming this game and people were like dude why are you not using your resin and i i told my chat like wait it's free and they're like yes it regenerates two months right there two months of could have been mora could have been the artifact uh talent books experience books just gone because i thought resin costed money now that now that we've learned from our mistakes we uh we just spend every single day farming for useless artifacts with our resin, don't we? Speaking of resin, artifacts. Artifacts really don't matter until you're like above AR45, right? Because when you're below AR45, when you do artifact domains, you're not guaranteed a five star drop. So technically you can just stick with like four stars or whatever. You can just like farm a little bit. You don't have to focus that much. But even if it's not five star like artifacts, one thing people should do is at least like put the decent artifacts on their characters. What do I mean by decent? Well, like, okay, perfect example. We have our favorite boy here, Razor. Look at this build right here. Look at this build. We have a two piece attack percentage and two piece crit rate. What an incredible build for early game. Am I right? Now you don't have to upgrade these, but at least have like, I don't know, good like set facts or artifact set stats. Like it, it, it could, it could, it could help a lot. It could help a lot, right? Oh, hi dish. I remember, didn't I show you my Kaya build once on Twitter dish? Now, Okay, this guy's trigger warning, trigger warning. If you uh, are adverse to cringe, I advise you not to watch this here, okay? Avert your eyes, okay? I warned you. Uh, this here is a prime example of what I mean by at least having half decent uh, artifact set stats. Arkaya here, I believe he's like level 34 or something, uh, running none other than the uh, two-piece instructors set. Now, I am still forever grateful to Kaya for carrying me in early game, but this is, this is, this is the set he was running. Okay, but actually, if you want to think about it, it's not actually a bad set for Kaya because like, imagine like the only early game characters you have is like Lisa as well as uh, perhaps like a support Amber. So when you're throwing down like the Baron Bunny and then like you're using Kaya, Elemental Mastery like a Melt Kaya, bad. you know, because it like boosts his E damage. So technically, it could technically work, right? I just like wanted to give you guys an example because of course I would never do this myself in early game because I am like a professional Genshin Impact player now, but uh, just, you know, be mindful of your, uh, be mindful of your artifacts. When did you guys start leveling your characters? That's my next question. Immediately. Wow, respect to you. If you started leveling your characters right away <laughs> oh my god now i mean like technically you don't have to start leveling your characters right until i don't know maybe like ar 20 or 30 right something like that i guess it's fine to like level them to 20 and like ascend for the free star or free pull but i don't know i just remember when i started playing this game i saw somewhere I'm pretty sure it was my twitch chat actually wow you guys you guys messed me up i refuse to level up my characters because i remember just seeing online that you wanted to save your characters or save all your stuff until you like had characters like you were for sure ready to like level up and then like invest in them so you can like min max your damage or like your spending resources and stuff like that so yeah i never i never leveled up my characters because i didn't want to waste resources oh i hoarded those books like there was no tomorrow i hoarded those level up books like it was like toilet paper at the beginning of the pandemic it was it was crazy i think at one point i had like over 1000 of the purple books because i did not want to level up any characters because i was afraid i was gonna waste my resources now you don't have to level up every character like obviously for me as well look i have i have so many level one characters that i'm probably uh never going to level up but it's not the end of the world if you if you don't min max your resource usage it's gonna be all right oh man weak Lee bosses. I'm sure everyone knows, right? It's it's super worth to do like weekly bosses because one, you get like materials to uh, upgrade your characters with. Number two, it only costs 30 resin if you're uh, redeeming it for the first time that week. So like for what you can get, it, it's super worth. However, I'm sure as you can probably guess from the problem that I did not upgrade any of my characters, I never needed to uh, farm for any ascension mats because I didn't upgrade anyone. So therefore, 
I never did weekly bosses and I missed out on so many drops when I started playing this game. I'm pretty sure by the time I unlocked Azdaha, I was like AR what? It was it was late though. It was late. Yeah, you can you can do uh the Volin, you can do the freaking wolf boss. You just start early. It makes your life easier in the end. <laughs> Oh my god, not the tier list. Wasn't there this like Genshin Impact tier list that for some reason everyone just believed when the game first like released? I don't I don't remember it, but I, I have heard about it and there were like some crazy things on there. Like what? Deluc as S tier? <laughs> Wasn't wasn't Bennett like super low on the list? He was like at the bottom, I think. Chi Chi S tier. Okay. I remember there was this phase in Genshin Impact where everyone was just obsessed with tier lists. Everything had to be a tier list. There was like character tier list, boss tier list, quest tier list, domain tier list, monster tier list. Everything had a tier list at some point. I'm glad I'm glad we're past that phase now. I think it's normal in video games. I mean, yeah, the thing is, tier lists are used a lot in games that are like, um, what do you call it? With like PvP, but Genshin's not a PvP game. Now I say it doesn't matter because literally, literally anyone can be good in this game. Like you don't, you don't need to pull for like meta characters or characters that are like best value. The reason it like matters in PvP games is because the meta actually is important for like how characters counter characters and interactions like between those characters in a competitive game but here it's like what what are you what are you competing for oh my god my right in shogun can do more damage than your right in shogun that means i must have a ginormous pp yeah who cares it, it it's it's not that deep you, you pull for whoever you want play whoever you want <laughs> that's that's how it works oh my god why does my right in shogun not do that easiest fight of my life anyways my final tip my final thing that i wish i knew when i first started playing genshin impact was to take the game at your own pace i feel like a lot of players feel rushed to you know catch up on lore catch up on you know current events and stuff like that so they just skip through all the dialogue and perhaps ignore things that are truly beautiful in genshin impact so don't feel pressured to you know speed through stuff and get to the end game as quickly as possible and to play characters that you really don't want to play because they are quote unquote meta. I think what truly matters the most is that you have fun while playing and you get to actually enjoy the process. And when you get to end game, like the rest of us are here, stuck uh, farming artifacts day after day, just spending resin and coping for promo gems. You'll thank me. You'll thank me in the future. So whether or not you're a new player or not, hope you did enjoy that video and hope you took away some a little something from it. Whether it was a new tip or trick or just being able to laugh at my uh <laughs> my wonderful experiences while playing Genshin Impact. If you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like and subscribing so we can hit 1 million. Let's go for 1 million, guys. We're, we're almost there. 90% there on the final stretch. You know, do consider doing that and joining us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. Uh, if you want to see any of these stuff, stuff? If you want to see the stuff done live and maybe like a month earlier before it gets posted to YouTube because I am kind of low on editors and my editors have lives outside of editing too. So it takes time to produce videos and stuff like that. But anyways, thank you so much once again for watching this video. Hope you guys had a good time and I will see you in the next one. Peace.